Today we are going to build a dramatic superman landing effect from scratch. I will walk you through everything slowly and clearly. From how to shoot the footage to the final cinematic touches inside CapCut PC. Follow each step exactly and pause where you need to practice. Before we open CapCut, let us get the shoot right. Mount your camera on a tripod so the frame remains locked for all takes. Stability is crucial because the entire effect depends on a static background plate and precise alignment. Frame the scene with enough ground visible in front of the actor so we have room for dust and shockwave elements. Record two takes without moving the camera. First, film the action take. Stand in the spot where you want the landing to occur. Start slightly above the ground, bend the knees, then jump and act like you are coming down from the sky. Sell the weight of the landing with a small hop and a planted pose as if you just impacted the ground. Hold the landing pose for a moment so we can freeze that frame cleanly. Next, without moving the camera, leave the frame and record a clean background plate for a couple of seconds. This plate must match the same lighting and camera settings as the action take because we will use it as a static background under the effect. If you do not want to shoot, you can download practice clips from Action VFX. I have linked it in the description. Alright. Now import both clips into CapCut desktop and place the action clip on the main video track. Scrub through the action clip and find the moment when the actor is just about to touch the ground, the exact last frame of the downward motion before the body settles. Right click that frame, choose edit and select freeze. This creates a frozen image of the actor in mid landing. Next, find the clean background clip. Move the playhead to a frame that shows just the empty background. Right click and choose freeze there as well. Drag this frozen background frame to the bottom most track of the timeline. This frozen background becomes the static plate we will see behind the actor once we remove the original background. Go back to the frozen landing frame which is on the upper track. Select that frozen layer and open the right side editing panel. Scroll to remove background and choose auto removal. Let CapCut process the auto remove. If any parts of the actor are cut out or edges look rough, switch to custom removal and refine the mask manually. You want the character to be isolated cleanly with soft edges so it blends with the background plate. Now we will animate the isolated landing frame to make it appear as though the actor dropped from the sky into the scene. Select the frozen character layer and make sure the playhead is positioned at the last frame of that frozen clip. In the position property click the keyframe diamond to create your final keyframe. This final keyframe is where the character will end up centered and grounded. Move the playhead backward about half a second or so depending on your desired timing. With the playhead there, grab the character and drag it upward off screen or to a higher Y position so the character starts above the frame. This sets the initial keyframe implicitly. When you play this back, the character will move from the top position down into the final grounded keyframe, simulating a heavy landing. Adjust the keyframe distance in time to slow the fall or move it closer to make the landing snappier. For a realistic feel, aim for a downward travel time between 0.4 and 0.8 seconds depending on your clip speed. Motion blur is essential here. With the animated layer selected, enable motion blur from the right side panel. CapCut will process the blur over that movement and add smoothing to the motion. Motion blur sells the speed and makes the landing feel heavier. Now, let us add impact effects. I use production crate for shockwave and earth shatter overlays. Go to the link in the description and download two clops, a shockwave dust clip and an earth crack overlay that matches your ground texture and lighting. In my case, I am downloading these two elements. Check out their names from the description. Import it into CapCut and place it on a layer above the frozen background but below the isolated character or if the effect should appear in front, place it above the character accordingly. Trim it so the visual starts exactly at the frame of impact. Scale and position the shock wave so it sits on the ground beneath the actor. 
In the right side editing panel, change the blend mode to screen or add. Screen works well for removing black backgrounds. Add gives a brighter blast. Pick the one that blends best with your footage. Reduce opacity slightly if the overlay looks too intense. Play the clip and adjust the timing so the shockwave expansion coincides with the moment the character meets the ground. If the earthquake clip is short, but you want the rumble to stay, right click the shockwave layer at the frame where it looks best, choose edit, then freeze. Drag the frozen frame out to extend it for as long as you want the ground to remain disturbed. To make the landing feel physically present, we need camera shake. Open the effects panel and search for shake. Drag the shake effect and align its start at the exact impact frame. Set the duration to a short burst, typically 0.3 to 0.6 seconds. For settings, start with speed at 5 and strength at 8. Play it back and adjust. Reduce strength if the shake is too violent or increase speed if you want a faster jitter. Sound design ties this whole effect together. Import a low frequency thud or punch impact layered with a rumble. Add a short whoosh or wind slice that precedes the impact to suggest the character's descent and time it so the whoosh ends right before the shockwave. For polish, color grade the scene slightly and that's the full Superman landing effect from shooting to final grade. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and subscribe to Edit in Minutes.